the full slot of bugs. Um, this is a pretty common bug class that that we've seen. Um, some of you, if you're slot developers, might have seen it as well. Um, your stack gets randomly corrupted. Um, this is probably a bit more of a technical talk, so uh, hopefully it will be understandable for developers, but we'll see. Um, <coughs> yeah, so not that many people know this, but this is a pretty pervasive problem since around a year ago. Um, the root cause is a bug in the Solana compiler. Um, I think Jerry did a tweet about this uh, a few months ago. Um, we work with a lot of Solana teams as well who have ran into this problem. Um, if, if you are a Solana developer, you might have seen this if your Solana program randomly and mysteriously changes its state. So for example, here's a message. Um, you, know, you, you run the program and all of a sudden your variables change on the stack. Um, unfortunately, the, the reason why this happens is, is, is pretty hard to understand unless you actually dig into what's happening low level. Um, and, and the purpose of this talk is to hopefully make this issue legible um, to, to more Solana de developers. <coughs> um, so I have a couple of examples here. All of the examples are in entirely safe Rust. So um, you should be able to read the code and uh, if the compiler was working as intended, um, you know, the, the, the result should be relatively straightforward. Um, so the first one is we have um, an outer function that does it get inlined? Um, in, in, in these examples, I use std hint black box, um, which doesn't do anything. This is just a, a compiler hint. Um, it's not really relevant for purposes um, of, of, of these examples. And, and you could replace this with any other syscall, like the soul log, for example. So in our example, we have an outer function that allocates a variable called is add hint. Then we call an inner function, and the inner function does a variety of different stack um, shenanigans. And the question is, you know, what what happens here when you try to run it? Um, and, and, and critically, you know, does is add hint change? So here we're, we're allocating a thousand bytes, um, and it's fine. Um, <coughs> you can run this, and you know, hopefully, as expected, the the variable on the stack does not change at all. Um, what happens if you do it with an array of length um, four thousand ninety six or you know a thousand in hex? Um, for, for those of you who, who don't know, stack frames in Solana are, are, are this size. Um, so each time you do a function call, you have up to 0 to 1,000 um, bytes of stack space available for you. And you'll notice that when you compile this, there is a compiler warning. Um, importantly, this is a, a warning, not an error. So you can, you know, if you don't look too carefully at your, your compilation logs, you can end up you know, ignoring this. Um, if you're a developer, maybe you should check if you have any warnings uh, when you're compiling your programs. Um, so yeah, in, in this case, we allocate exactly the number of, of bytes in a stack frame um, in, in, in the array, um, in the inner function call, and uh, we don't crash. Um, the is admin variable is, is still unchanged. What if we do 0x1001, so 4096 plus one bytes? Um, and you know, the, the, the choice of this number probably already gives you the answer here. Um, you, you, you'll note that the, the stack offset um, decreases by one in the compiler warning, and um, yeah, the, the, the warning message is increased by one. Um, and you know, for, for those who are astute, uh, it, it does crash, um, which is, you know, I think pretty astonishing. If, if you're writing a Solana program, the implication here is that, you know, your code can, you know, this is completely safe Rust code. You're, you're not doing anything magical here, but because you allocated a lot of bytes on the stack, you overwrote uh, a variable in the previous function thread. And, you know, I, I want to see what actually happens here. Um, <coughs> so uh, this is going to be a bit lower level. Um, this, is, this is all assembly. Um, for, for, uh, I guess as a, as a brief primer, you, you have um, a bunch of variables, a, a, bunch, a bunch of registers, R10 is the stack variable. So that, that corresponds to where the stack is. So when you start the function call of outer, you have R10 set to some value. Um, then you allocate, um, and, and this is a bit out of scope with this example, but you, you allocate a pointer on the stack. And you can see, hopefully here, um, the line which I highlighted where you do 
you r10 minus 8. So you, you take the pointer r10, you, you subtract 8, and you allocate a, a, a variable there. Um, <coughs> then you allocate the isAdmin variable. This is for bytes. Um, Rust integers by default are, are i32, so this is you know, 32 bit, bit int. Um, you can see here it's r10 minus 12, um, which is 8 plus 4. Then we do a function call. Um, and what the interpreter does, which I have here, is it adds 0x1000 uh, stack frame size to R10, and then it jumps to the assembly code of the other function call. Um, again, we allocate a pointer. Again, this is a bit out of scope of, of this talk. Um, but then we allocate a bunch of stack space. And, and importantly, we allocate 0x1001. Um, so if you do, do a bit of math here, um, you know, this exceeds the, the stack frame, it exceeds the amount that we incremented R10. Um, and you know, it sets all these, sets all the memory here to one. And what this means is when we do 0 to 1001 of, of allocation on the stack, we overwrite the isAdmin variable. So, th so this is actually what is happening under the hood. The, you know, this is why we're able to, in, in completely safe for us, change the value of a previous stack variable. Um, this also explains why it doesn't happen when you do um, a value of 0 to 1,000. Um, you know, if, 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 this, if the size of the buffer was only 0 to 1,000, you'll notice that we overwrite up to pointer, but importantly, we don't overwrite the isAdmin variable. One question you might ask yourself is, are the compiler warnings sufficient? Um, and, you know, good question. Unfortunately not. Um, so, so this is an example where you use 0 to 1,000 minus 8 bytes of stack space, um, and it still causes an overwrite of the isAdmin variable. Um, this talk is only supposed to be five minutes, so this is left as an exercise for the reader, but if, if you're able to figure this out, I would, I'd be curious um, to, to get your thoughts on, on why you think this, this also fails. Um, one, one hint is the, um, around the RBPF calling convention, so specifically, how do you pass in a large number of stack variables? Um, yeah, hopefully this, this is a pretty motivating example. Um, <coughs> the solution, as a note, all of these are in, uh, I think, V1.18, but they're, they're patched in Anza's uh, V2.0 back, um, V2.0. So, uh, you know, hopefully none of this will be an issue in, in a few weeks. Um, if you're a Solana developer writing a program, and this is what we tell our clients, um, one thing you can do is you can disable direct mapping at, uh, to test. And, and the reason for this is it um, enables stack frame gaps. Um, when you enable stack frame gaps, that's funny. When when you enable stack frame gaps, um, this causes the uh, overflow to be caught. Um, uh, specifically, it makes it so that the, the area or the memory in between stacks, stack frames are not, um, are not writable. Um, so, so this is actually a pretty good way to catch essentially every um, stack overflow issue, or, or almost every. Um, you can also check for compiler warnings. I think this is, you know, on, honestly, the, the compiler should probably error here, but, um, you know, if, if you see one of these errors, um, you know, maybe you should try to optimize your stack a bit more. Um, you know, the, the, la the last thing, and hopefully you never have to do this, is, is to actually read the assembly. Um, and, and hopefully this presentation gave you some insight into what the assembly actually looks like and, and what it's doing under the hood. Okay, sweet. Thanks for, thanks for the time, everyone.